the typical installation is not for everyone. You may want to add more user interface languages, remove a component, or leave out a scripting language. The custom option allows you to include various components, programming, and human languages to the installation, or exclude them. It all begins at the Setup Type page. This page has two choices, Typical and Custom. Click the radio button next to Custom. Then click the Next button to go to the Custom Setup page. The Custom Setup page has several options. You can change the location where the components and languages are installed. This will be covered later in the video. In the field, there are folders for optional components and additional user interface languages. Click the plus sign next to optional components to see the items in it. There are several items in two folders, dictionaries and extensions. Click the icon next to one of the items. Let's choose online update. A menu appears with three choices, this feature will be installed on local hard drive. This feature, and all sub-features, will be installed on local hard drive. And this feature will not be available. Click the desired one. For extensions or dictionaries follow the same process. Click the plus sign to expand one of them. Click the icon to the left of them. Click the desired choice. This is also the process for user interface languages. The space button at the bottom shows a list of available drives in a separate dialog. The disk size, available space required amount of space for the components and languages, and the differences is displayed. You can easily change the location of where each component and language is stored. First click the desired component or language. Second click the change button. The change current destination folder that launches allows you to select a different location on your hard drive or a connected drive. When you are done, click the OK button. On the Custom Setup page, click the Next button. The File Type page lists different Microsoft applications with checkboxes next to them. A check in a checkbox means that the LibreOffice counterpart of the Microsoft application will open a document that is double-clicked. For example, if the Microsoft Word Documents checkbox is chosen, then each time a docx document is double-clicked. It will be opened by LibreOffice Writer. After you have made your selections, click the Next button. The final page is the same as the one for the typical installation. Click in the top checkbox if you want a shortcut to launch LibreOffice on your desktop. Click the second one to load LibreOffice at startup. Then click the Install button to continue through the installation process. This video has been an overview of a customized installation of LibreOffice for Windows. Thank you for watching. To learn more about LibreOffice check out the other OS College videos on the YouTube channel or social media pages. There are more videos and articles on the OS College website.